our worldview today, tennis star Novak Djokovic is facing deportation yet again after immigration officials in Australia canceled his visa Friday, putting his bid to defend his title at the Australian Open in jeopardy. The immigration minister reversed course four days after a judge handed Djokovic a legal victory, releasing him from immigration detention. Now, the minister said his decision was made with public interest in mind, saying he was committed to protecting Australia's borders in the pandemic. Djokovic's supporters gathered outside his hotel Friday to protest the decision. He was first detained at the Melbourne airport last week, despite local officials granting him an exemption from the COVID-19 vaccine mandate. A federal investigation revealed he provided false information on documents he submitted to border officials. His lawyers say he will appeal the decision. North Korea is lashing out against U.S. sanctions, test firing what appear to be two short-range ballistic missiles. The launch marks the third this month, and it comes after the Biden administration imposed fresh sanctions against five North Koreans for their role in sourcing equipment and technology for the missile program. That prompted the country's foreign ministry to criticize the U.S., vowing to take stronger and certain reaction to, in their words, a confrontational stance. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has so far rejected overtures from the U.S. to resume talks with the Biden administration. North Korea has ramped up its missile testing since September last year and launched hypersonic ballistic missiles twice this month in violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions. And Hong Kong is tightening its borders yet again, suspending transit flights from 150 countries to control the spread of the coronavirus. The move comes in response to roughly 50 new infections reported in the city since the end of last year. The restrictions will take effect this weekend. It bans travelers from high-risk areas, including the U.S., from passing through Hong Kong's airport. The cities followed China's zero-tolerance COVID policy and already banned incoming flights from Australia, Canada, France, and five other countries. The restrictions will remain in place for a month.